Hello and welcome to my guide to the Corend and Kebos Easy Diaries. I tried to map it perfectly so you can do it as quickly as possible. So the skills required are 15 mining, 25 thieving, 25 construction, 12 herb lore and 20 fishing. The quests and favor required are 15% Hosidius favor and start at the Queen of Thieves quest. For the items you need some feathers, a spade, a pickaxe that you can use, a Termin Potion Unfinished, a Limford Root and a Fly Fishing Rod. Also, if your house is not located in Kurend at the moment, you need to bring a Warrock Teleport and 8750 coins. To make the diary a bit easier, you want to bring some Stamina Potions, a Skilling Necklace of at least 3 charges, a House Teleport, a Remington Teleport, and the Serix Talisman with some charges. Then for the gear you want to bring weight reducing armor um, and something to kill a sand crab with so you don't need any good gear. If you haven't changed your house to Corrent yet you want to teleport to Warrock and run north east. Talk to the estate agent. At the estate agent we choose option 1, can you move my house and then option 4, Hosidius. Then you want to teleport to Remington and you want to run east. The goal here is to take the boat to land's end. So we are, we are running to Vios. Drink the stamina potion once your run energy hits 80. So we can use the stamina boost optimally. So once we are at Vios we do right click travel and we choose land's end. Once we are at land's end we teleport to our house. Once we are at the house, we leave the portal and re-enter the house. So go to home and this should update the diary. Then we leave the portal again and we run southeast. Southeast we should find those fruit stalls. If the two guard dogs are not inside the house, lure them inside the house. If they are already, just steal some fruit from the fruit stall. Then run south to kill a sand crab. Here on this beach we should be able to find several sand crabs, just kill one. They are quite weak and even a combat level 3 should be able to beat one with some food. Once you killed the sand crab, right click your skills necklace, rub it and teleport to the woodcutting guild. At the woodcutting guild you want to run east to dig up some saltpeter. There are four spots where the saltpeter can spawn, so find the one where the saltpeter is right now. Once you find the saltpeter pit, which has the saltpeter in it, dig some up. After you dig up the saltpeter, you want to use your Cerex talisman and teleport to Serix lookout or just run west. Uh, once you are at the Serix lookout you want to, want to just run north. Once you are here take from the crate in that small building and you get some Shazian mat packs. 
And we want to heal a soldier now. So we use the Shazian Mad Pack on a soldier. Then we want to use our Xerix Talisman or a Sia Teleport to Xerix Heart. Then we want to run west and go upstairs in the building. So go climb up the stairs. Climb up the stairs again. And pray at this altar right here. First, activate the prayer if your prayer is at the maximum already. Then we want to use the same teleport again to get to the to get downstairs again. Then we want to run west northwest. So more west than north. Our goal is to reach the pub right here. So we run directly to that pub. Don't forget to drink stamina potions. Once you are inside this pub, you want to use your Lymphort root on your Termin Potion Unfinished. Then you want to run north northeast. You want to enter the library and want to look for one of the two small persons and then you want to ask them what book they are looking for and then you have to find that book. Happily there's the Runelight plugin that will tell you where books can be located and will search the books for you. So once you first find the first book it will try to map out where all the books can be and that way you can find the books real quick. So I would highly recommend you to use that rune light plugging for, for this method. Otherwise it's extremely hard to find all the books. So here you can see I found the first thing. So now it shows me what can be in the different places. So that way I can look for that book and once I find some more stuff, it will tell me exactly where the book is. I still have to run through all the rooms to find the book that I'm searching for, but it's a lot quicker than searching all rooms for all books. Once you've found the book, you need to take it out of the shelf and bring it back downstairs. By the way, the books are randomly located, so finding the book can take quite some time, but the plugin should help you, like a lot. So we talk to him, and this should complete this task. Then we want to run east. Open the doors and leave the library east. You want to get to the Piscarillus house and want to be able to climb down this dungeon there. So we run south as soon as we cross the bridge and then we run east. Once we are at the dungeon sign, 
We open the manhole and climb down the manhole. Then we run west. Just keep on running west. Until you see the general store sign. Trade the shopkeeper of the general store. Have a look. Close it. Use your skills necklace teleport and teleport yourself to the farming guild. Run southeast until you see a fishing spot on the minimap. Do some lure fishing until you catch a trout. Once you call the trout, run north. Run all the way north. If you have 29 agility, use the lower shortcut right here. And if you have 62 agility, use the upper one as well. If you don't have any agility levels or only 29, run around until you are at the top. Run west. Until you see the mining spots. Mine some iron right here. This should be the last task, so we can return to the middle of Sia. So we rub our Xerix talisman and go to Xerix heart. And right here we can talk to the diary master. Get some free inventory spaces so you can talk to Alice and collect your reward. We say bye.